Judge McKinvin has made his placings in the Ayrshire Winter Calf Class. Our second place junior is entry number 66, Carleton Wingnut Patches, exhibited by Deegan Sandlier from Loyal, Wisconsin. Our first place junior is also our third place winning entry and our best spread and owned, and that is entry number 48, Tollgate Predator Harbor, exhibited by Megan Davenport from Litchfield, Connecticut. Second in the class is entry number 72, Lazy M. Gentle Sage, exhibited by Georgia Hazelwood from Smyrna, Tennessee. And winning the class is entry number 55, Double A Top Notch Danielle, exhibited by Hemp, Malatz, and Osenkop from Beaverville, Illinois. Congratulations. Judge McKinvin, your comments. Ladies and gentlemen, what a beautiful class of winter calves. And, uh, Certainly so strong at this top end, uh, but good calves all the way down the line. But this calf, she jumps out of you. You get across the ring and look at her. She's so pretty, so feminine, so angular, so long in her frame. And when it comes down to that, she's just got a little more angularity up to the point of her shoulder today than the calf we have in second. She's got that little more length of frame than the beautiful wide rump calf in second. But you really got to appreciate the second calf when you're getting close to her. You look at the width of this calf's rump structure. She's a calf that carries that width all the way through, right to her muzzle. And she's a calf that's got lots of spring of rib. And she's really correct when you're getting close. And she fits in, for me, easy second today, giving her the advantage over the third heifer. When you get to the rear view, more spring of rib, just more spring to that barrel today. She's just got that little more substance about her, just a touch more depth of flank than the really pretty stylish calf in third. Take nothing away from the third calf. She's all about style and femininity and angularity. When you look across the ring, she jumps at you. She's just got that style, the angularity, long dairy neck on her. And she uses that advantage she has over the fourth calf. It's just that little longer of her neck, a little longer of her frame than the really well-balanced heifer we moved up into fourth. The fourth heifer, we had her sixth, we moved her up to fourth. I just like the way she carries her top on the move over the fifth half. The fifth half just tends to roach up when she moves out and makes her rear legs look like she toes out just a little. The, the fourth half just gives that little nicer look on the move today right through that top over the cab we have coming out in fifth. The fifth over the sixth, she uses her advantage. She's more correct right through her front legs, right through her, her chest floor today and the way she tracks on her front legs over the cab we have coming out in sixth. And the the sixth calf today over the seventh calf, she uses the advantage she has up through the crops. She's stronger up through that crop region today uh, when she stops over this beautiful deep rib calf we have coming out with the young man in seven. Thank you. Congratulations.